Hi, welcome back to the complete JavaScript course. So before I take you into my code editor and start explaining all the fundamental concept of JavaScript, I want you to make your hand a bit dirty writing few codes in your Chrome browser. So here I have already opened my Chrome browser. If you have Chrome in your computer, that's well good. But if you don't have, make sure you install. And if you don't like to use Chrome, you can use any other browser. It's totally up to you. So here I am already opened my Chrome browser and there are two ways to open your Chrome console the first one is Control shift j and this will open up your console and the second one is right click and inspect element these are the two way which you can use to open up your consoles and if you are a mac user or if you are a window user both this command will work to open up your console so let me open it very quickly so once you open up your console here you will find a bunch of options so the very first option you will find this arrow so when we have to select any element that's what we're going to use it for so if i want to select that this will highlight the html part and here it will highlight the css part which you don't need to worry about it here we have a mobile responsive so when we have to design a mobile responsive layouts then on that time we're going to use this 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 mobile tab okay let me make it desktop and these are the tab we have to focus so the very first tab is the html tab console source network memory performance application security lighthouse recorder so you don't need to worry about any one of these tabs the only tabs you have to worry is console here we're going to console log out all our code doing the testings all the results that's all we're going to do it here so these are this tab is going to be the most usable tab in our javascript course and here on the right hand side you will find a bunch of options the first one is the first one is where you can able to find all the response all the messages all the errors this one is for you whatever console logs you will do that will display here i know this will this sounds like a magic but everything will make sense i just want to give you a quick overview that what are the tabs we have in our search console and how powerful it is here you can able to handle all the errors here you can able to handle all the warnings informations and this is just truly ignore it console is very powerful you can do a lot of things you can do mathematical calculation you can build logic and you can alert something so let me give you a couple of examples to make your hand dirty okay so the very first thing i want to do is i want to alert something so i'll take this alert and i'll take this parenthesis and i will take this double quotes you can take single quotes it's absolutely fine and inside this i'm going to write text i'll type joaib shwem bye okay if i hit enter i will get this alert okay so most of the time you have seen when you visit any web applications and you perform certain actions you get this kind of alert okay so if i click okay here i will get undefined because i'm not taking any i'm not performing any tasks on that okay okay so this is how you can alert and you can see that i have taken double code you can take single code and when you pass anything inside this double code it's called string so i'll talk about this in detail in this course so every part we are covering here it's just a demo i just want you to understand that how javascript work in the browser and you can perform some tasks in the browser so each of this command we are doing here we're going to talk about in our code editor okay as well you can also build some kind of logic so let me build a logic for that so i'll take a let and i'll say js is equal to i'll take a string in our double quotes make sure you take double quotes or a single tool it's really up to you i'll take sh o a i b by okay so javascript is equal to shrub high this is the value i have assigned to this and here i want to check whether javascript is really equal to shrub high or not so i'll say if if js is deeply equal to shoaib by okay and i want to alert if this statement is true okay so i'll take this present this is inside this i want to alert shoaib shrub bye so what do you think what will happen if i hit enter so if i hit enter i will get this because here with this three equal marks it means the value should be equal and the data type should be equal so it's a string and the value is not equal because here it's capital b and here it's small b so if i come here copy this entire code and come here paste and try to edit this portion to it's a it's a capital b okay and if I perform this task one more time, I'll get this alert. So I can easily able to check the logic. So I say I'm saying that JavaScript is equal to Shwebhai and Shwebhai is string and its data type is also string and 
its value is also equal so this is how you can build the logic and you can also update the value which you have assigned to the js so if i want to change the value to show by to something else i can do that so i'll say js is equal to i'll take a, this time i'll say number okay i'll take 23 number so make sure i'm passing number and i'm not assigning any double quotes and you can see if i zoom it a bit you can see the color let me make it this up the color is also blue it's not black or red okay so this time the value of js is not swept by but 23 so if i run this command if i simply come here and run this command i'll get an error okay i'll get an error so if i run this command and hit tab nothing will happen because this time the value is updated and it's 23 but if i do the same thing and change the value to a number so if i say 23 and hit enter i will simply alert the message so this is how you can build a logic so this is a very simple logic we're going to build very complex when we'll talk about if statement and switch statement so there is a lot of things which are coming and every every section every command every feature has a sections where i have explained everything and you can also do mathematical calculations so let's come here so here you can also do a mathematical calculation so i can say 45 plus 20 you can see hit enter you can say 45 divide by 5 you can get that so you can do a lot of things you can do calculation mathematical calculation you can build logic you can alert and you can do a lot of things so these are the tasks we're going to perform in our code editor and don't need to worry about i just want you to make your hand dirty writing few codes in your search console and to show you that even you can write javascript in your browser okay so we're going to write and in the next video we're going to talk about that which code editor is good for you and there are many in the market you, which one you should pick it throughout this code and which i'm more which one i'm using so we're going to install a code editor in the next video and i will tell you that which one you should go and we're going to do the, some comparison we're going to do some settings in the code editor for getting started okay so let's move on to the next video see you there